Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith from Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to use our new painterly action. I'm going to just zoom in here so you can kind of see how fabulous it is. Um, this is after I played the action, and this is the before. So I had already edited this image, so this was a complete edit before I um, decided to add this painterly on top of it. And I just love how it finished it off. Just so smooth and shiny and perfect, in my opinion. Um, I'm also going to be showing you how to use it on an image that hasn't been edited and how it looks on that, on a RAW file. So, anyway, to get started, I'm going to just go ahead and put that in the trash can. So, this is the before. And then I'm going to zoom out a little. And I'm going to click on the Storyville Painterly and hit play. And at first, they look kind of creepy, right? Um, but everything else looks gorgeous. You can also play around with the opacity. If you don't want it super strong, um, you can dial it back. But I'm going to keep it at 100% here. And to get it off of their um, face, I'm going to take a soft black brush. You can do 100% opacity if you want it completely off. Or you can like decrease it just depending on the strength you want. I'm going to leave a little on their skin. There they are. Not so creepy anymore and still so like smooth and silky. And as you can see, her hands need a little touch up too to bring those back. Just kind of going over the skin. A little bit on his shoe. And maybe dial this down a little bit and bring back some of her scrunchie. I'm going to zoom out and see if there's anything I missed. I think that looks good to me. And that is it, guys, on a finished image like that you've already edited. I also have the Brighten Up Contrast and Color Dazzle attached, but the, they are turned off. Just to use them, you turn them on, and I'll show you how they will look on an unedited image. So here we go. I'm going to move on. This is untouched. I did not edit this at all. And I am going to play the action. Okay, and I'm going to, first I'm going to brighten the image up, and you can also play around with the opacity as well on any of these. And it's already pretty contrasty, so I'm going to leave that off, but just to show you what it does, you can dial it back. Um, oops, we're on the brighten up, aren't we? We can dial it back, we can just leave a little bit, but I'm happy with that being off. And I do want to um, add a little bit color pop there with the color dazzle. I'm going to turn it down and just kind of work my way up. That looks good. And as you can see, their face is pretty blurry. So again, I'm going to just take this at about 62% and brush him back on. And as we're zoomed in there, I want to show you the difference. This is with the whole action and the painterly face. I probably wouldn't stop there. I would go ahead and brighten up my other daughter's skin and make a few more adjustments for it to be finally, like, completely edited. But this looks pretty good for um, a base, if you ask me. Look how fun those rocks are. Just so much fun. Anyway, you can find this action on the website at www.storyvillephotography.com. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye, guys.